Hi, this is JP from Nautilus over Arkham. Welcome to another campaign playthrough of the Marvel Champions Mutant Genesis campaign uh, on standard difficulty. And I am playing with the uh, Gambit protection deck I started the campaign with. So, uh, last time uh, I lost my initial try on the Sabertooth and it took me three tries in total to beat that scenario. Uh, I only filmed the first one and uh, this will be the way to go, so I will always film the first try and uh, depending on if I win or lose, uh, I will just film the next scenario after I have uh, beaten the scenario so I know how the campaign progresses. So, uh, last time uh, I was able to defeat uh, the... Where is it here? Uh, the frightened police. So we get to pick another uh, defender upgrade. So this is out of the campaign pool. So I have set it up aside. So we get to choose another from the available ones. So this time we will get bodyguard. And these are set aside. Then um, we added one... Uh, Futures past encounter card into the, here, and the card we added from the playthrough I won was the Bastion's Machinations. So that is in there, and uh, I will just quickly show the deck list I am using. So let's hop over to MarvelCDB.com. Okay, so here is the deck list and. I won't go into detail on the decklist, so I'll put the link into the video description as usual. But basically, the key to this deck seems to be to uh, play all the <coughs> upgrades and supports you can. And build your board so that uh, Gambit is untouchable and after that you can just uh, beat the uh, villain and uh, keep thwarting the side schemes and etc. while you are doing so. So, not going into detail, but uh, you can check out the deck list uh, by Classy Robot on the video description. So, let's hop back over to the scenario. Okay, so we are ready to begin. So, uh, we have the Operation Zero Tolerance in play, and uh, then we flip this over. It has one threat on it, which I forgot to put in the setup. And then we have the campaign side scheme enemy of my enemy in play which gives an acceleration icon so we need to get rid of that as fast as possible so uh, I am using the skirmish difficulty because I just don't want to make it too hard on myself just want to experience the campaign so we don't add any card underneath the operation zero tolerance because there is a extra lose condition if there are four cards in a true solo game underneath that card we lose the game so uh, let's see if we can beat this on the first try so let's get started okay uh, we are ready to begin so i didn't watch what the bodyguard does so it comes into play hero resource generate Two wild resources for a defense or thwart event, draw one card, remove this card from the game and the campaign pool. So, uh, in the resolution of the last one, uh, if you don't use that, it will get removed either way, so you should use it if possible. So, let's draw our opening hand. Let's see what we get this time in the start. So, we got Jocasta, a Royal Flush, Polaris. Gambit skilled armor, judoka skills, and natural agility. So, first of all, Royal Flush is too early. Uh, either Tocasta or Polaris. So, I'm actually putting these two underneath. I might want to play Tocasta now because we have a Royal Flush underneath us. So, uh, well, it's not a defense event, so maybe not. Hmm. I think. Chocasta is not useful at the moment either. So we will draw uh, three cards. We get Unflappable, Charge Card and Hard Knock. So it will be a setup turn for sure. 
So, first off, we will use uh, Gambit's ability to exhaust and look at the top two cards and remove threat from a scheme. Well, we got very unlucky. Mm. Let's just pick the easier one. This has card and patrol, so we need to beat this, but we don't want this quick strike enemy. So, we didn't remove any threat, which is bad. So, well, nothing we can do about that. Let's just build some uh, board here. So we'll use charge card and natural agility to play Kudoka skills. And we'll use hard knocks to play unflappable. And we'll... No, we'll play the Gambit's uh, guild armor. Then we flip. And... Uh, that is that. So... Uh, we keep the unflappable one, two, three, four cards, uh, armored vest, forge, uh, charge card, and electrostatic armor, so we can build even more next round. We just need to try and not uh, <laughs> get defeated before that. So we'll go to the villain phase. We have two of these in play, so we'll add three threat to the main scheme. That's not good because next round we are losing a card on the the Operation Zero Tolerance. Uh, the Sentinel attacks uh, Gambit will defend uh, 3 versus 2. And as we know, this is a 0, so we get to ready using the Gambit skilled armor. And this enemy hits us 2, so we'll defend again, so we take no damage. Oh, yeah, and we have Tudoka skill. Okay, so we'll have to put some counters on that, so there are three Tudo counters there, I forgot to put those. And I actually charged the card once, which I am keeping the, uh, forgetting, but that's life. So this annoying Sentinel has guard and patrol, so we need to get rid of that before we can damage or even touch the Sentinel. But that is... Uh, the activation, so we get an encounter card. It is warn the others. After your turn ends, place this card face down underneath Operation Zero Tolerance. Alter ego action, exhaust your identity, discard this card. Well, that sucks, uh, but it is what it is, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, I think we want to at least defeat this one. Do we want to do here? Is there any way to thwart at all? No. And we can't remove those. We haven't got any of our thwarting abilities. Well, I think we are losing a couple of cards here, so it is what it is. So uh, I want to get rid of the Sentinel Mark Four. So, let's think, uh, do I want unflappable or armored vest? Not both. Okay, so, really bad situation. So we'll charge the card, we'll play armored vest with the uh, forge, we'll play unflappable with electric. No, we'll play the electrostatic armor with the charge card. Well, that's everything we can do, unfortunately. So, this is not going well. Uh, we are already halfway beaten here, so we need to really start removing threats soon enough. So, we're ready up. We draw back up to five. Uh, molecular acceleration. Creolic Charmer, a Power Punch, and Hard Knocks. Okay, well... Um, we'll go to the Villain phase. We add enough threat, so... Uh, we add... Uh, three here. So... Unfortunately, we go over. We remove five... Put the top card of our deck underneath here. 
and also this goes underneath here when our turn ended. Well, uh, we only can afford to lose two more cars underneath there or we lose, but we'll try to uh, struggle on. So uh, Sentinel attacks, I will defend and I will drop the attack by one, uh, by two, so zero against three, uh, plus three, so we don't take any damage. Then we will ready, and I'll just take this attack. We want to <clears throat> be able to do something if we get another one of those. Uh, encounter card for this round is Sentinel Mark 3, so it has toughness, so not looking good, but it is actually Let's back up. Uh, we won't take the damage. So, a bit hindsight. I, I was intending of doing this, but I forgot. So, we will use Molecular... Uh, actually, we'll use this card. And we draw a card. So, we powerful punch this one away, so it's defeated. And this is removed from the campaign pool. Then that came in play, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, uh, this round we really want to get rid of both of these to help us out. So, I am playing the uh, Molecular Acceleration immediately, and I'm also doing the Charge the Card to play Creole Charmer. So we will clear this and uh, shuffle the top card of the future path deck into the encounter deck with this card and put Magneto in play with, uh, for the first player. So, uh, first player controls Magneto, he doesn't count against your ally limit, responds after Magneto attacks and defeats a sentinel minion, heal one damage from Magneto. Okay, I think that's uh, the plan for next round, but we will do another, uh, we will. Hmm, let's think. So, I think I will hit off the tough. I will sword for two. And I will play uh, uh, Creole Charmer. And the last one confused the Sentinel. So, we'll play the second Creole Charmer to get rid of this. And we get Jubilee in play. And now thinking, uh, let's back up, because I forgot I will get Jubilee. So uh, actually Jubilee was the one hitting off the dam damage from here, then Magneto will actually defeat this one, and Gambit removed one threat and then Creole Charm that away. So first Gambit uh, thwarted uh, Creole Charmer, then Jubilee hits this, Magneto will uh, defeat this one. So that is that. We are looking better. We are still a bit away from uh, getting this under control, but uh, we'll see. So we ready up. One, two, three, four, five. We get Genius, Hard Knocks, Nightcrawler, Strength and the Thieves Guild. Okay, looking better. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. Uh, the sentinel attacks Gambit defends, and I will use the judo skills. We take no damage, we get to ready. And we'll deal one damage here, so we'll do that. I actually think I forgot that last round, but it is what it is. Uh, then we get an encounter card. Oh yeah, we forgot to shuffle the top card from here, so I'll shuffle these. There's so much more to remember in the campaign. So I'm shuffling this in here, we don't know what it is. And uh, we'll actually do the boost card to again choose. So if it's, uh, well it can't be more than three, but it could have a boost effect. 
So let's see what we get. So uh, yeah, it was the same card for the um, um, ac activation. Then we get an encounter card. It is self repair. This card eats status card from the villain. Give the a villain, a tough status card, and heal 5 damage from it. Well, it hasn't taken any damage, but it gains the tough. Okay, and that is everything. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, this round we will charge the card. I will play... Nightcrawler. Then um, I think I will hit the top of Magneto, will hit for 3 damage, and Nightcrawler will actually thwart for 2 here, and I will thwart for 1 here. That's everything we ready up. We draw back up to 5. I'll keep the hard knocks in hand. We get the rogue, good, energy and powerful punch. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. Sentinel attacks. I will defend, use the Tudoka skill. So this is cards 0 against 3. I mean 4 and plus 2. We don't take any damage, so we're ready. And counter card is Nimrod's portal. Uh, so this is a futures past. Uh, side scheme victory one when defeated if in player order each player discards the top two cards of the encounter deck and takes indirect damage equal to the number of boost icons discarded this way and it has three on it well i think that's okay so uh that is that round let's go to the next round uh, we will play rogue for free and Rogue has toughness. Then uh, I forgot to play the powerful punch, but I'll save it for next round. So I will be playing the hard knocks. I'll deal four damage to an enemy. We don't want to defeat it, so nothing else happens. We'll charge the card again. Actually, I'm I'm using three here to playing that, so we'll deal 3 more damage. Need to speed this up. Then I will thwart for 2 and thwart for... Uh, let's just thwart for 1 to get rid of Jubilee so it, uh, she's not in danger. So we remove uh, Jubilee from the game as she has victory point. I'll just place them over here somewhere. So we get rid of this uh, we discard two cards and take indirect damage, so we take three indirect damage and I'll take it all on Gambit. And that is our turn, we ready up. And Rogue... No. So one... I just counted. So, um... One thwart, and we need another two thwart. So Rogue loses, loses the tough, but then we have these two to fight with more. I will just uh, hit for two damage here. And this is discarded. And, uh, well, we probably hit for two more damage. And might as well... I think I have hit with Magneto three times, I can't remember, but we'll hit this Sentinel to phase two. So it gains steady and toughness, so it is not confused anymore. And it has uh, 18 health to go. So if we get a good royal flush and we can uh, chop 
half of the health away. We have the powerful punch in hand. Be ready up. And uh, we add one, two. It, it gets also tough. So we have this is uh, in the victory display now. So we get one, two, three, four cards. Royal flush, nice. So we have Royal Flush, Hard to Ignore, Natural Agility, Professor X, and Powerful Punch. We'll go to the Villain phase. We add one threat here. Uh, Sentinel attacks, I will defend with Gambit. Four against three, I'll play the Natural Agility. I'll have get one here and boost my defense by four. So, 3 against 7, no damage, we will ready. Encounter card is... Oh yeah, we should have searched for the deck and discard pile for abduction protocols, so we put that into play. Yeah, I'm, I'm messing up a bit, but I think we are set up correctly now. Uh, the encounter card for this round is another abduction protocol, so I think we are trying to just rush down now. So, uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, uh, we start by adding one threat to charge the card and playing Royal... No, not playing Royal Flush first. Oh yeah, uh, we dealt one damage with the electrostatic armor, so the top is off. So now we will play and use three from here, so we deal nine damage. Then we will hit for three damage, five damage, seven damage. We have two damage left to go. And that is our whole turn. We draw one, two, three, four, five. And we get the powerful punch so we can just finish off the game here. So uh, we add one threat to the main scheme. Uh, Sentinel attacks, I will defend. I will play powerful punch. Add one here. Use all of these three. And deal seven damage, defeating the Sentinel. Whew. So that, that was a quick one, but it was a win. So, lucky we uh, got the Royal Flush right there and then. So, this deck needs to get set up before it gets flying. And we got these really early and then just focused on churning out damage and uh, getting the side schemes out of play. But that was uh, the uh, Project Wide Awake scenario in campaign mode with Gambit. So, uh, we will record in our uh, campaign log or uh, at the back of the book. So uh, if the enemy of our enemy was defeated, we record that in the campaign uh, log. Then if each future past card in the victory display or remove each future past card in the victory display from the campaign log, it is Nimrod's portal. Add each future past card found in the encounter deck pile into the camp uh, play in the camp up so there is the same one remove each roll upgrade that began the game in play from the campaign well it is removed if jubilee is in play record that it in the camp log jubilee is not in play okay we should have kept her in play and record the name of each captive ally that entered play in the camp log there are none unfortunately we should have probably uh, long at this and uh, get some of those, but it is what it is. It's the first time I'm playing, so I didn't know what to do <laughs> most of the time, but that was that. So, a pretty fast game. Uh, hope that was entertaining. So, uh, we will see in the next scenario Master Mold, and I will be continuing with the same deck. So, hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.